to do as a leader in engineering education nationally and globally is because of the School of Engineering Education which has faculty whose research is in education, in how students learn. And so the things that we do in designing classes are informed by research and scholarship about how it is that people learn. Not only do we have fantastic faculty, leaders in research, but we have the College of Engineering Education to help inform and conduct research to inform the practice that we have. Everything we do is about people, and it's about opportunities for our students, opportunities and excellence among our faculty, and the recognition that everything we achieve is because of the people. I chose Purdue over the other schools that I looked at because when we toured, Purdue seemed to have the biggest focus on integration between the different disciplines. My experience in the first year set me up for the next years because in every class I've had since, teamwork was a big part. Engineering is real, literally from the day students get here through the Ideas to Innovation Lab in the first year engineering program. The Ideas to Innovation Learning Laboratory at Purdue is a place where all the first year students undertake their engineering courses. The idea behind the lab is that the students work in teams, it's a studio environment. When they come to class, they're actively involved in projects as really apprentice engineers. The I2I lab helped me learn because it was set up around teamwork. And so we're able to talk, we're able to work together. What's unique about this facility is we have a large number of students, nearly 2,200 each semester. And we're trying to give them this opportunity to spend four hours a week in a facility. There are really two spaces. One's a design studio, one's a classroom studio. We operate them from 7.30 in the morning till 5.30 in the evening. The facility is designed, its layout is set up to enhance, to help the students to work as teams. EPIC is a service learning set of design courses where student teams partner with community organizations to address needs in the community. We have long-term partnerships with our community partners. So we engage with them to really understand their needs and then we design things that are engineering or technology focused to be able to meet those needs. Our teams are really multidisciplinary. We have, over the past academic year, over 70 different majors participating. Being able to combine getting experience, applying knowledge from your discipline in a way that can benefit the community is just really resonates with the students. The i 2 i lab was designed with the intention of better engaging students in engineering in the hope that that would lead to greater retention. And indeed in the five years since it's been running, the retention rates have risen from somewhere around 80% to somewhere nearer to 90%. We're committed to the success of students. Also to integrating research and education through things like NanoHub and Hub Zero. NanoHub U is an online educational initiative. We're really trying to address two of the major developments over the last decade. And that's been the rise of nanotechnology and the increasing importance of multidisciplinary education. Any student with a bachelor's degree in any field of applied physical sciences or engineering can take a NanoHub U course. We've really been fortunate in creating NanoHub U to have a terrific IT platform. It's called HubZero. It was created here at Purdue. What HubZero is, is it's a platform for scientific collaboration. You can share data, publications, lectures, seminars, tutorials. The HubZero technology in NanoHub really give us an opportunity to have global impact. So it allows us to put a little piece of Purdue anywhere in the world. Purdue has been working with Columbia for about the last three years on a variety of fronts. Purdue students are involved in the Columbia efforts as very active participants. It exposes them to new problems. Solving a problem in the United States is very different than solving a problem in Colombia. We have held a couple of conferences. One was just held in nanotechnology, and then we also had our kickoff forum about three years ago here at Purdue where we hosted many dignitaries from uh, universities in Colombia, as well as from the Colombian and the American government. Being a citizen of Colombia and a Purdue graduate, it makes me very proud to see the level of commitment and engagement from both Purdue and Colombia. 
the College of Engineering is going to grow significantly over the next five years. We've been seeing an increase in enrollment, both undergraduate and graduate enrollment, but over the next five years, we'll continue that growth. We'll be adding as many as 700 undergraduates, 700 to 800 graduate students, but we'll also be growing our faculty by over 30% adding over 100 faculty um, to be able to continue to innovate. Purdue is aiding my continuing education by keeping me challenged, but giving me all the resources that I need to succeed. The college's tagline is Think Impact. It's not about what comes into the university, it's about what happens with the work that we do here. So the impact in our research, how is it changing lives, how is it making a difference in the world? I think for Purdue it's relevant to be a global university because most of the challenges that we as engineers face nowadays are global in scope. Purdue is getting a reputation as reinventing engineering education. There is groundbreaking work going on here every day.